Hey, good morning. How are you? Good, I hope. Another week. You know, without that coffee, I don't know that I would be so <laughs> excited about Monday. But of course, I look forward to spending time with you. You know, good leaders are meaning makers. Now, what do I mean by that? How good of a job could we do leading if all we're doing is working for a paycheck? That seems kind of mundane, doesn't it? It seems monotonous and without joy. Think of it this way. You have a cause. You have a purpose. Or as my buddy Simon Sinek would say, you're clear on your why. You understand that what you do makes a difference. That makes all the difference in the world. Now, look, you could be saying, I don't know what you're talking about. You could be a real estate agent. And of course, selling homes is your job. But finding someone their forever home, a place that they walk in and you can see the expression on their face just go, this is it. This is where I'm going to spend my life. That's a good feeling. That's your cause. If you're a banker, then you make those things possible by working with people's financials to allow them to be able to live their dreams. I don't care what business you're in. There's always a meaning. There's always an impact that you have on the lives of other human beings. And that's where the cause is. That's what motivates and inspires us to do the work that we do, is that we can see the end result of our efforts and how it impacts lives of other people. That's how we find joy in our work. And if we're not finding joy in our work, what are we doing? I know it sounds over oversimplified. I mean, I've got an example. I used to be a team facilitator right, for Steelcase North America. And I had a team in the seating department where, you know, they make chairs for your workstation or, you know, for whatever, waiting rooms. And during a team meeting, we had taken a break and one of the guys was hanging behind and he's like, I don't get it, man. And I'm like, we don't get what? <laughs> Come on, really? There's no cause here. Look, I work for a paycheck. I come in, I do my work, I build chairs, I put them in a box, they go in the back of a truck and who knows where they go, whatever. I don't care. And I thought to myself, God, I don't want anybody on any of my teams feeling like that. So I thought, what can I do? What can I do to change his perspective? So I got an idea. What I thought was, well, we had an installation for a business that was just down the street. It wasn't that far from the plant. And I thought, I'm going to take him to that ins installation so that he can see how what he does fits into the bigger picture, right? So we go down there and he walks into the office. And he's like, wow, our furniture looks good. I said, yeah, yeah, it really does. And we're walking down the aisles and he glances out of the side of his eye and sees this poor lady sitting in her chair, brand new chair, feet dangling off the floor, leaning forward, looking at her computer screen. And he sees her kind of go back and go, oh, oh, her back, right? So he goes over there. I didn't say anything. He just goes I was wondering where he was going. He just goes over there and he goes, um, may I help you? And she kind of looked at him a little bit puzzled. He goes, I built your chair and I want to show you some things that you can do to make it more comfortable for you. And she goes, oh gosh, would you? I love this new chair, but it really is causing me a lot of pain. And he says, no worries. And he uh, flips the leather, the lever under her seat and drops her chair down to where her feet are flat on the floor. 
And then he raises the armrests so that she has a 90 degree angle with her hands and her keyboard. And then he adjusts the lower lumbar support. And then there's a, a little lever that tilts the seat slightly forward for her pelvis so that she's not uncomfortable. It's not an unnatural way of sitting in the chair. And then he lowers her monitor to eye level, basic ergonomics that he knows, but she doesn't know. And she's like, that's amazing. She goes, I have worked for so long in this office in chairs that didn't fit me. I have back problems. And she goes, I don't, I don't even feel any pain in my back now. And a big smile went up on his face. The light bulb went on. This was his cause. This is why, how he made a difference in the life of another human being. He wanted to come to all of our installations so that he could help all the workers understand how their office furniture worked. Even though the chairs came with, you know, instructions, most of the time they got torn up and thrown away. And he thought, he turned to me and he says, we got to let everybody come and experience this. I said, yeah, well, why is that? <laughs> He's like, we make a difference. <laughs> we really do. I mean, think of it, Dave, if I hadn't adjusted her chair and she had sat in that chair for weeks, months, years, what impact would that have had on her body over time? And I knew he understood. I knew he got it and he got it in spades. I was excited for him. When we went back to the plant in our next team meeting, he got up in front of the group and says, you guys, we make a difference. We really do. And he told his story and everybody kind of looked at me and said, well, when do the rest of us get to go on this field trip? So I had to wait until there was another installation that wasn't super far away, but they all got a chance. Look, I don't care what business you're in. There is a meaning behind the work that you do. There's got to be some way that you benefit your customers on a human level. People need to know that because before they know that, all they do is work for a paycheck. And if you have good, talented people, they're going to leave to go find that sense of purpose somewhere else when they have it the whole time. But as leaders, we are meaning makers. And meaning makers give their people that sense of purpose, that value in their impact of their labor, of their work, that there is a end in sight, an end in mind, let's say, that will make a difference in the life of another human being. I'm going to challenge you this week because I do know it's not easy to find the purpose in your work. It should be, but it's not always. I want you to think about that. What do we do and how do people benefit from what we do? And how can we use that as the rally cry, the charge that we are responsible for making a difference in the lives of other human beings? Do you think that's important? I think it's critical because in this day and age, we need to feel as though we're really contributing to something that makes a difference. People will give you your work for a paycheck, but they'll give you your hearts for a cause. And until next Monday, enjoy your Monday morning cup of joe, and I will see you next week. Go lead the cause. Go on, go, go. <laughs>